So as you probably all know, Russia is threatening to invade my native country, again. The first time it did so, we lost Crimea and two other regions, in one of which I was born, and where I still have relatives. Uh, but now it seems that Putin is uh, aiming for a much bigger land grab, which many of us Ukrainians might not survive. So I was curious, what do my fellow leftist content creators have to say about this? Like, surely they would be empathetic and say that the West should help my country defend against Russian aggression. Well, of course not. Which goes to show that leftist infighting is the only way forward, and leftist unity is just a load of bullshit. Kyle Kulinsky simply unloaded a bunch of Russian state propaganda, from calling my country a fake state to giving excuses for the invasion. Uh, the area that he took over is basically ethnically Russian. Something like over 70% of them said they would prefer to be with Russia. Hassan Biker did a 24-minute segment that boils down to, hmm, you're saying that we should help Ukraine, but bro, have you considered that America bad too? Which is somehow even worse than I expected from this himbo dumb fuck. First of all, we are the imperialist wannabe fascist as well, as Russia is, for the record. The only non-sociopathic take was from Wash, who basically said what Russia is doing is completely unjustified and uh, fuck everyone who is making up excuses. He did a very good job taking apart Kyle's and Hassan's bullshit. You should probably watch his video, the guy really does have a working head on his shoulders. With that being said, as a person who is directly affected by how all of this plays out, here's my take. I don't give a fuck about your stupid ass RT inspired opinions about who is right or wrong, or whether the West should defend my country or not. The United States of America and the United Kingdom have an obligation to defend Ukraine, both moral and formal. After we left the Soviet Union, we were still in control of the third of its nuclear arsenal, plus the means of its design and production. But we gave it all away after the Budapest Memorandum on Security Assurances in 1994, which, you guessed it, gave us security assurances by the US, the UK and Russia, in exchange for us contributing to the nuclear non-proliferation. If we hadn't done it, chances are Russia wouldn't have even dared to invade us in 2014. And we wouldn't need your help now, because nukes are a great deterrent, guys. But we did it, and we have been an exemplary case for the NPT for 20 years. And guess what? 2014 happened. Thousands of people have died, the war has lasted for 8 fucking years already, and where are the Americans and British? Nowhere to be found. They are too busy finger-wagging, because they learned we also have neo-Nazis. Oh, but Daniel, we are giving you guns. Well, thanks, but honestly, I would much rather my government surrender as soon as the invasion begins than entertain you guys by dying with your guns in our hands in a war that we're never going to win. You didn't fucking help. You just gave us the opportunity to weaken Russia more for you before we all fucking die. Denuclearization was a mistake. But Daniel, nukes are bad. Well, yeah. But you know what is also bad? Living in constant fear of Russian invasion. Or even better, getting conquered by an authoritarian state and then living under it as second-class citizens because of propaganda that convinced their people that your people are practically subhuman. When you guarantee someone's security in exchange for them losing 1700 nuclear fucking warheads, you are expected to do something. We upheld our part of the deal, and so it is not our soldiers who are supposed to be dying at the hands of Russian army and Russia-backed separatists. The dead soldiers are supposed to be of the English-speaking variety. Maybe that way my people wouldn't rightfully feel betrayed by both the East and the West. Maybe then we wouldn't have so many ultranationalists you guys can't seem to shut up about. And maybe in that case, you would actually feel compelled to quickly do something about Russia, instead of letting it conquer all its neighbors while you do appeasement. And for those of you sociopaths who are fine with Ukraine getting conquered because, well, bro, technically the memorandum is not an international treaty, so we don't really have to abide by it, so get fucked, lol. First of all, you're fucking scum, and I sincerely hope you'll never get close to any position of power. And secondly, what kind of example do you think this sets for other countries? Ukraine gave away the nukes and got invaded 20 years later, which the nukes could have prevented. As it turns out, nuclear non-proliferation is only beneficial to countries like the US. Nukes for me, but not for thee.
give up your weapons in exchange for protection and when you need that protection the most, we will laugh in your face. I hope you understand what set of incentives this gives to other governments. So yeah, this is my take, I know I'm right, but you can still of course leave a dislike and write a comment saying I'm wrong because something something geopolitics, it's your freedom to do so. Uh, see ya!